What up humans? Karumi here, and welcome to our tips, tricks, and guide video. In this video, we are going to show you tips and tricks for Popol and Koopa. But if you guys are interested on watching the complete guide, just search for Toy Traveler Boot Camp Popol and Koopa on the search bar. Anyway, let's proceed. Set for skill to max level first. Prioritizing this makes the base damage of this skill higher. That means the enemy will be receiving more damage. Prioritize second skill next because the shield granted could help you be more durable. Prioritize third skill less since this skill can be stacked up to three times. You just have to make sure you save the charges and use it wisely when you need it the most. Always upgrade your ultimate skill when available for upgrading. Popol and Koopa's passive skill is what you need to deal more damage to every single targetable entity out there. Every time Popol attacks something, Koopa will also be attacking that thing. Even turrets. You can use Koopa to tank jungle monsters for you, making the jungle a safe haven for you. He regenerates health when not taking damage after a few seconds. So you don't have to worry about Koopa's health. Always remember that Koopa could attack enemies even from far away as long as it is within the radius. With Koopa's assistance, you can even just let him devour the enemy slowly, while you are cheering for the enemy to finish the last marathon of his life. Take note that when Koopa dies, you can use your first and second skill to pray to summon him back. If you get attacked while you are praying, your prayer will be cancelled because you should be praying peacefully. Always take care of Koopa because praying to summon him again has a really long cooldown. So if ever Koopa is almost dying, you can use your second skill to call him back to avoid further damage. Also take note that Popol's attributes are all inherited by Koopa, even equipment effects. We have tested a few items if they will be inherited by Koopa, but we will show you that later on the experiment section of this video. Lastly, take note that after 4 consecutive attacks dealt by Koopa, Popol's next basic attack is buffed and will deal amplified damage. This is really good especially if that hit will deal critical damage. Also keep in mind that when Popol dies, Koopa dies as well. It just shows that Koopa is really loyal to Popol. Popol and Koopa's first skill is what you need to command Koopa specifically which hero to attack. By throwing your spear towards the target, Koopa will be chasing after it and attack the target hit. When Koopa is buffed by your ultimate skill, his first attack after the spear hits the target will stun the enemy and will deal rapid bites afterwards. This is a great skill for chasing enemies since this skill has a really long range. You have slain an enemy. Popol and Koopa's second skill is what you need to protect Popol from the enemies. Take note that using this will call Koopa towards you and will grant you a shield. This shield could help you survive death somehow. Also, if someone is chasing you, the slowing effect of this skill could help you flee from danger. Also take note that Koopa will attack enemies nearby you after using this skill. So he will be ravaging on the enemy chasing you while you commit your sweet escape. When Koopa is buffed by your ultimate skill, the extra effect of this skill will knock up enemies nearby you airborne. This is really good especially if some enemies try to target and kill you first. You can just let Koopa crowd control them and walk a little bit to keep your distance and finish them off. Popol and Koopa's third skill is what you need to immobilize enemies and have a vision of the battlefield. You can place up to three traps in the battlefield. When three traps are already in the battlefield and you try to put another one, the first trap placed will disappear. Each trap grants you vision in a small radius. This is helpful if you want to avoid being ganked on your lane. Just place traps on spots where you feel enemies will try to hide before they gank you. Just make sure you replace the trap after a minute because the traps disappear after a minute or when an enemy steps on it. You can also use this when you are trying to gank an enemy. Just place traps ahead to make it difficult for them to reroute for their escape. If they get enticed by the shiny trap you place then that's even better. Keep in mind also that enemies could see your traps. So better hide them inside a bush to bring an element of surprise to the enemies. 
You can also use this skill to check the bush if there is a hidden enemy or not. Popol and Koopa's ultimate skill is what you need to buff Popol and Koopa. They are both buffed with additional attack and movement speed. While Koopa restores his full health gets an increased max health points and additional physical attack. This skill is best used when you are going to engage in team fights. You can also use this to heal Koopa when he is about to die in the battlefield. The movement speed bonus from this skill could also help you chase enemies or escape death. Here we go again with our experiments. We will test some scenarios against Popol and Koopa which could either benefit them or destroy them. Before we head over to hero experiments, let's test items on Popol and Koopa first. Let's test different items on Popol and Koopa if what will be inherited by Koopa or not. Let's test Wind Tucker. Both of them dealt the magic damage from its unique passive. Now for Endless Battle, when you use your first skill and deal the next basic attack, both of them still dealt true damage. For Demon Hunter's Sword, both of them deals the extra damage to the enemy. For Critical Chance items, both of them also deals critical hits. For Lifesteal items, Koopa's basic attack regenerates health for him and not for us. So let's assume that most of the item effects are inherited by Koopa. But take note that unique passive of items like Immortality and Athena's Shield won't be inherited by Koopa, but Effects of Cursed Helmet is inherited by Koopa. Now let's head over to our hero testing. First, let's test their relationship against Leslie's ultimate skill. Leslie's ultimate skill will shoot four fatal bullets that could kill us. Let's see if we can have Koopa block it for us. As you can see, we can't control where Koopa goes. So, if you rely on Koopa to block the bullets for you, he could either protect you or betray you. Next up we have Bruno. Bruno's ultimate skill shoots a ball that bounces on enemies. Take note that Koopa always follow Popol. So, if Bruno uses his ultimate skill with just Popol and Koopa around, both of them will be playing catch the ball happily while waiting for their inevitable death. Same goes for Odette's passive. Both Popol and Koopa will again play catch the note and all they could do is just sing along with their death song. How about let's try Nana's second skill. Nana's second skill summons Melina which chases enemy heroes to transform them into a cute little kitty. Let's see if we can rely on Koopa to block Melina for us. As you can see, Melina just ignored Koopa and still transformed us. Does this mean that Koopa is not considered a hero unit? We will see about that later. Let's now have Johnson. Let's test if Johnson could let Koopa ride inside him. As you can see, Koopa doesn't go with strangers and still followed social distancing. How about if Johnson lets Popol ride inside him without Koopa? Will Koopa be left behind? As you can see, upon Popol riding Johnson, Koopa went in as well. This just shows Koopa's loyalty towards Popol. I hope they both have hand sanitizers with them. Now, let's have Franco. Franco's first skill can pull enemies head towards him. With Koopa randomly walking around Popol, this will definitely give Franco a hard time hooking Popol. Franco's ultimate skill could also be used against Koopa. Now, let's have Kaja. Kaja's ultimate skill immobilizes and pulls in target hero unit with him. Now this is the scenario where we can really see if Koopa is a hero unit or not. Oh my god. As you can see, Kaja was able to use his ultimate skill on Koopa. This is confusing because Nana's Melina didn't transform Koopa, but Kaja was able to use his ultimate skill on Koopa. So probably we can say that Koopa is a hybrid unit. So if you are using Kaja, better aim well so you won't use your ultimate skill accidentally on Koopa, not unless you want a cute wolf pet. Lastly, given that we think of Koopa as a hybrid unit, we now have Faramus. His ultimate skill revives fallen ally heroes. Let's see if Koopa will also be revived by this. As you can see, Koopa was not revived by the ultimate skill of Faramus. This is really sad to see Popol's pet leaving this planet. But good thing his prayers are powerful enough to summon Koopa back. In terms of his combo, we recommend using two combos depending on the situation. In the situation that you are going to gank an enemy, you should take note of this combo. First plan to trap behind the enemy. This will make the enemy's escape more difficult because he will try avoiding the trap not unless he wants to be caught in your loving arms. Then, use your ultimate skill to enhance your succeeding skills and attacks. Then, use your first skill to throw a spear to hurt the enemy and this will command Koopa to attack the target. Koopa's attack will be stunning the target because of the enhanced effects from your ultimate skill buff. Then, deal basic attacks. 
If the enemy goes nearby you, use your second skill to call Koopa. You gain a shield with this and Koopa will jump beside you which will knock up the enemies nearby airborne. Then continue dealing basic attacks. If ever the enemy tries to escape further, just place your traps a little bit ahead of them to immobilize them again. In terms of team fights, you can follow this combo instead. First, use your ultimate skill. Then, use your first skill to stun the target with Koopa. Then, set a trap ahead of the enemy to ensure he is not going anywhere. Then, just use your second skill if ever the enemy dive in and is beside you. Additional tip killing another being is illegal. So sometimes, you should just let Koopa be stained with the enemy's blood, so you can sleep at night without your conscience bugging you. The tips I mentioned are just some of the ways you can use Popol and Koopa. This video just guides you on how to use Popol and Koopa the Kurumi way. We would like to thank our Wakandian brother, Rakuten, for being our lab rat for this boot camp. You can search for him in-game and tell him how much you appreciate him, willing to sacrifice his pride and honor to be a test subject. Do not forget to like and share this video. Also subscribe to our channel for more contents by clicking on the subscribe and bell button. For our skin giveaway events, check out the community tab for the giveaway event post. We have our coffee account just in case you want to donate us some coffee funds. Check our coffee link on the description of this video. Please only trust boot camp videos from our official accounts. See you on the next Mobile Legends boot camp. Cheers.